Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much. I'm broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas. You've got a great audience, got a couple of Facebook and Twitter questions for you. But we're just totally smitten with you as Survivor Man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, you do things, I think, that's in many people's hearts. I'm not going to say everybody. But you're doing something that's really important. And tell us about being Survivor Man on TV. Well, I mean... The, the organic reality of how it all started, I was just a guy who liked watching Jacques Cousteau and Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom and Tarzan movies, and I had a cottage, and I, I always adored nature. And, you know, I always saw that filmmaking side of things, too. And, and in many ways, if you think about it, what is Survivor Man, if not a bit of a hybrid uh, between Jacques Cousteau and Tarzan? Uh, and, and so I came by it honestly. I had, I had filmmaking in my skill set as I got older from rock video days and working in rock video and, and my music. And I had this passion for nature and trained in survival and learned, 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 and then started teaching. And one day I just put those two together and the Survivor Man series was born. As we are now, we're in um, a decade of preppers, a decade of survivors. What do you bring to us regular people who sitting at home watching TV don't think anything gonna happen. Hmm. Reality, I hope. And not re the reality as in reality TV, but reality as in real life. Um, and that's what I think I've been about. In, in I've always been about connecting to nature. That's been really the basis of Survivor Man, is how to connect with the earth and, and, and experience nature safely. Um, and so it's been about, you know, teaching a skill set, getting a, a skill base, uh, a, a, some, a knowledge base so that when we go out in the wilderness, whether it's with your nine-year-old and your dog or in the Peruvian Amazon jungle like I do and everything in between, whether it's camping or glamping, uh, you go out with a good knowledge base. And then part of that, you know, and, and again, I should, I should mention I'm very proud of my relationship with uh, T-Rex Tape and Camillus Knives. They've made this interview possible because they've always been part of my kit always been part of my, my kit, uh, uh, to have a good, solid kit to take with you so you feel a little prepared. All right. I'm going to take a Facebook question, and the question is, have you done everything on Survivor Man that you've wanted to do so far? Wow. You know, I don't, I don't, that's a new question. I don't think I'll ever be able to do everything on Survivor Man that I've wanted to do. There's always something more that I want to do. My bucket list is never-ending, and uh, including the work that I do uh, as Survivor Man, um, there's always a place I want to go that I haven't survived in or a skill that I never got to show that thing, you know, or uh, we did one in, in Romania recently where I, where I survived and I, I imitated having a broken leg. And that was a new thing to do and it was very cool. So I don't think I'll ever run out of things. All right. I'll take this Twitter question and it says that what season are you going into and will you be renewed for another season on the Discovery Channel? So I'm not, I don't actually shoot seasons. You know, uh, the, the, the different shows that came along after Survivor, man, they're bound to getting, pumping out tons of shows, which is why they have to set and stage things up. I actually do what I do for real. And in doing so, it takes a lot out of me. I can't pop out 13 episodes a, a year. Um, so in many ways, I'm, I'm rounding this question. In many ways, I don't really do seasons. I just, I'm ready to do some more shows. And I call the network and I say, I'm ready to do some more shows now. And then we go fine and we do a contract and I head out. But that said, the short answer is Survivor Man and Son will be premiering uh, on Father's Day. Uh, Logan and I just shot an episode in the Amazon jungle. And then we head out in two weeks to shoot another episode uh, out in Mongolia and um, where I had my car crash last year. So I'm still making some, uh, some more recent episodes with my son. All right, this will be my last Facebook question I'll take, guys. 
Uh, one wants to know, do you have any kids, and have you ever taken them with you? Because they think they saw a survivor man and son. Well, there you go, and you got the answer to that. Yes, I have uh, two children, a daughter and a son, and Logan uh, asked for a long time to join the show, and he wasn't ready, and I knew that. So then when he was ready, uh, we went out, we did two episodes of Survivor Man and Son, and now we're doing some more. He's 18, and he's not a little me. He doesn't have my skill set. I mean, he's doesn't uh, he hasn't been doing all those things. He's better at Call of Duty than he is at getting a fire going. So I think it creates a very real father and son situation out there where I get frustrated with him, he gets frustrated with me, I'm telling him to do things, he doesn't quite get why, and, and it's not so easy to tell my son, because I'm survivor man, that's why you need to do this. And he's just like, yeah, right, whatever, dad. So it creates a whole different uh, dynamic, and yes, so there are some more coming on. All right, last Twitter question I'm going to take. I'm not sure if you have a daughter, but would you teach your daughter these kinds of skills? Same thing. I do have a daughter, and she's 20, and she's studying marine biology, actually, in university. Um, and I have taught, I teach my kids those skills when I get them out there. They do actually get out with me on more camping trips than survival stuff, and I do try to teach. See, this is the thing, is, is, and, and the, the, the show has been about getting people out in nature, and so teaching kids skills is a big thing. We are a lot more squeamish as adults about getting our fingernails in the dirt and getting dirty than little kids are. Kids do that naturally, and I don't like antiseptic nature. I don't like making sure. I think kids need to get out and get dirty. They, they, they prepare their bodies much better if, uh, if they are, they, they develop their immunities better if they've experienced the bacteria that, that's in the natural world. It's all part of us. This is just Survivor Man. Like I say, we're very smitten with you at my studio. We love watching you. You um, you do the things we I think our heart wants to do. Mm. Tell me when we're going to watch your newest show coming up on the Discovery Channel. Uh, it's actually on the Science Channel. We'll be doing the premiere, and then usually it bumps over to Discovery after. So the Science Channel is Father's Day. Is the Survivor Man and Son Ooh. episode that'll be coming on, and. Uh, you know, I, I do get to do some pretty cool things with the Survivor Man series, and it does get to be fairly extreme at times. But as I said, I think a lot of times people are surprised to know that I also support just getting out there anyway. If, you if it's got to be through your RV or glamping, okay, that's cool, so long as you're getting out and walking the trails. All right. Today my guest has been Les Stroud, and he is Survivor Man. Thank you so very much. We'll be watching. Thank you very much.